Hello everyone, I'm Oluakemi Ugwakeze and welcome to today's episode on Dear Worship Leaders series. So today we're going to be looking at evangelism as a spiritual discipline. And I'd love to read from the book of Matthew chapter 28 from 18 to 20, Good News Translation. Jesus drew near and said to them, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Go then to all peoples everywhere, make them my disciples. Baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teach them to obey everything I have commanded you, and I will be with you always to the end of age. Evangelism means go as he has commanded. How can one go if you have not been sent? How can one teach? If you have not been taught, how can you disciple others? How can you make others disciple if you're not discipled? So as a believer, we need to be, we need to, we need to train ourselves. We need to engage ourselves in this spiritual discipline of evangelizing. And what is evangelism? It is sharing your own testimony. Once I was blind, now I can see. I was in darkness, now I am in the light. So it's sharing your own testimony of salvation with unbelievers in order to, for, in order for them also to come and obtain their own testimony. Evangelism is sharing the word of God and forgiveness of sins to sinners that they may turn from their darkness to light i also define evangelism as reaching out with love to the unloved and the unreached that they may see and experience the love of god through you the bible is speaking in john 3 16 that for god so loved the world that he gave so also in evangelizing we give we give something that people will say oh thank you and i say no i don't thank him you are thanking god so we are expressing that love of god and they are singing God and also seeing the sharing the love of God through us. Evangelism is not a matter of choice or an option for us as a believer, a command from the master. It says go, not if you like go. It says go. So I want to quickly share five W's of evangelism. Five W's. First one is who should evangelize? The first W is who should evangelize? Everybody, not pastors. Not the work of the evangelist and say, oh, he's only an evangelist that needs to go for evangelism. Is everybody, like the scripture we read, it, say, it says to everybody, go to all believers, all, all believers. The second W is where we go everywhere, nations of the world. We can all get all we can get all these W's, the answers from that same Matthew chapter 28 that we read earlier. The third W is what? What is, the, what is the assignment? It says, make disciples of me. We make disciples of God. We're not making followers. We're not saying, oh, I want people to start following me. We are bringing people so they can follow God, making disciples for God. The fourth, the, the fourth W is why. Why should I go? First, it is a command. First, it is a command. That is why we have to go for evangelism. And secondly, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. So we evangelize in order to show people the right path in life. And the last W, the fifth one is when. When should I go? The Bible says go. It means now. It's not when you are 20, not when you are 25, not when you are 30, not when you are 40, or when you are 50, or when you are called into ministry. It is now. We are to do the evangelism now. So how do I go about it? How do I go about it? It says, baptize them. Baptize means immerse them. Immersion and introducing them to the new life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And teach is also discipline. It's also training. And teach them to obey everything I have commanded you. So for you to for, for you and I to make disciples, we must be a disciple. We must be obedient in order for us to raise other disciples. It is not enough for us to win so, but we must follow up until Christ is fully formed in them. We follow up with the right teaching. Without discipline, we won't go for evangelism. If we don't discipline ourselves, we will leave it for some people to do. We'll say no, it's for some set of people. 
we we need that discipline in reaching out and sharing the good news with the word of god so i just want to mention four types of evangelism first one is corporate evangelism that is when you go with a group of people there is a the personal evangelism that is your own personal decision you just say okay i want to go to this street i want to walk on my street today and do evangelism we have social media evangelism as well as we have social media marketing you where you market your product where you have market your services also we market our product our Bible, our the Word of God. We, we we share the Word of God. So we use our social media platforms to tell people about God. When you share, the people follow. It's not only for them to see your pictures. You can post your pictures. You can put, but put a scripture, put a word that when they go, they are remembering that word, and you don't know. Who that word is going to affect and the last one is praying evangelism you may be busy at work that oh i can't have time i don't have time i'm so busy but you, where you are you can pray for souls men i love this quote by ed stelza he said many christians love evangelism as long as someone else is doing it as long as someone else is doing it that's why i said it's not the work of pastors or evangelists it's, it's what everybody every believer every follower of christ should do i can mention that our work is only to win souls it is god's work to save them i would love to read romans as i'm closing romans chapter 1 and verse 16 the passion translation i refuse to be ashamed of the wonderful message of god's liberating power unleashed in us through christ for i am thrilled to preach that everyone who believes is saved the jew first and then people everywhere everyone under our sphere of influence we have to just share our faith with them we share the good news with them effective evangelism can only be done in partnership with the Holy Spirit. So we just have to engage the Holy Spirit and trust him to guide us as we win souls for the body of Christ. So, till we come in our next episode, remain planted, remain rooted, and remain connected. God bless you.